all the science, all the literature that is out for health and fitness, uh, nutrition, longevity, gut health. I mean, we can list it on and on and on. Who has time to go into all of that, except for me, <laughs> to break it all down, to lose body fat, maintain muscle, gain muscle. Oh my goodness, it's, it's exhausting, right? So where do you start? You start with layering habits into your lifestyle. I'm gonna go over two specific breakdowns here, whatever you wanna call it, modules on how to integrate small habits into your daily life, layering them in. And the number one thing that I do all the time that I do for myself right now is get a fitness watch. I'm not here to sell anything when it comes to that, but go with Fitbit, go with Garmin, go with Apple. Fitbit's cheaper, Garmin's a little more expensive, but to me, more accurate. Apple, expensive, of course, so it depends on how you look at it, but Apple's integrated with just Apple phones, so you're subjected to just having an Apple phone, which Apple products are great. But just this one habit into your lifestyle can take, let's say you're only walking three to 4,000 steps a day and you add another 1,000 steps every day starting tomorrow. That's an E, or even 500. Get up, walk, start brushing your teeth. When you brush your teeth, walk, walk around. Just walk around the entire two minutes. If you're brushing your teeth twice a day, that's probably, let's say it's 500 st extra steps that you weren't taking. Um, taking a walk in the morning, for instance, 15 minutes, increase it to 30. That can add up to, I don't know, a couple extra thousand steps per day. And you start microdosing those walks while tracking those steps and focusing on increasing it to 10 to 12,000 steps per day. You haven't even walked in a gym yet right? You haven't really gone on any kind of crazy, any diet. I don't want to say crazy diet because there really is no di crazy diet. It's the diet that works for you. But diets are temporary. Nutrition is for life. Think about that while we're moving forward here. But really, taking that one simple habit, spending a little bit of money, and taking and utilizing this tool as a barometer to increase step count, to burn more calories without changing your diet to a diet that is not sort of sustainable initially, taking it even one step further, adding this onto that is increase your protein intake, let's say by even 20 grams a day. Get a protein supplement. Start with whey isolate protein if you're, meaning that's one of the best proteins you can actually take gram for gram. There are, there are vegan versions of not of whey isolate, but there are vegan versions of protein. But increasing, you know, take, eat, drinking your protein shake, eating one more extra serving of protein, being more, to me, the easiest protein to make if you're non vegan or vegan is tofu, of course. But for non-vegan is, is ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey. It's so easy to make, so easy to prep. Increasing that in one package, one pound typically is about 80, 80 to 85 grams of extra protein for the day. But my point here is increasing it and taking one gram per pound of body weight that you want to weigh. So if you weigh 200 pounds and you want to get to 180, increase your protein intake to 180 grams per day. Doesn't have to be day one. Take your time. Take a week. Take 10 days. Increase it by 20 grams a day today or tomorrow. And then increase it by 10 more grams the following day. Do two protein shakes. Drink a protein shake with your meal. Adding that protein into your meal, okay, can be very beneficial when it comes to, you know, lowering hunger, increasing you know strength but th those are just the that's the science right talking but moving doing those two things can change the way you get into see here fo focusing on macros everyone talks about macros what are macros 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 right the science protein first fat second 
it's because these are the, these are the fundamentals of nutrition, protein, fats, and carbs. What I, where I would start is for, for fat loss is taking 10, the, taking the number 10 to 12, multiplying it times the weight that you want to gain. So if you get loose, so if you are it, the, your goal weight, so if you want to weigh 180 coming from 200 pounds, the, the high side is 12. I would go with 2170. That is what 12 times 180 is. Okay. And then going down versus going up after, let's say, a week or two of measuring your weight, getting on a scale, utilizing the, the, a tape measure. Okay. The idea here, guys and gals, is to focus on one thing at a time to incorporate into your lifestyle. Easy. No gym required. Can start now. Taking more steps is a fact. Burns more calories. Burns more fat calories. Tons of literature. Tons of science. It's a given. If, you move, if, you, if you're at 5,000 steps and you double it to 10,000 a day, that is quite a bit of calories burned during the course of a week, during the course of two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. It just compounds over time. And if you get this right, not, not exact, but close, get your macros right, making sure that you're getting at least 50 grams of fat into these calories. Don't skip fat. Don't eliminate whole food categories. It's okay to, in the beginning. But realistically, you need fat. There is essential proteins. There are essential fats. There are no essential carbs. Carbs are used for energy, for energy expenditure. Why not allow your body to burn fat and pro fat first? Because that's why it stores it. And protein is used for repair your immune system. I know I've gone on and on. This is not about the science. This is about incorporating small habits into daily life. So taking, it's going one more layer, this is layer number two, is taking nutrition over diets. And that's where macros come in, that's where these calories come in. These can be adjusted easily, okay? Be adjusted, they can be adjusted up or down. And the idea is to be in a five, 250 to 500 calorie caloric deficit there's the science again, on, based on what your body actually needs. But these are good numbers to start with based on just science and literature, <laughs> right? But the, the, is, is, is getting these small habits and adjusting accordingly. Like for instance, the FitWatch, the Fitbit changed the way that I take steps and the way that I increase steps over reducing cardio. I do cardio, but the idea was to increase my step count to burn those calories so I'm able to eat more protein that I enjoy and, and or eat more, need more carbs because you can eat more food over time. You can increase your food intake, right? Because th these numbers change. So when I got the 12,500 to 13,500, that was my sweet spot to maintain weight without doing one bit of cardio based on the calories I was taking in on these macros and protein. These are the three fundamentals to me of breaking habits but incorporating small habits into your life. So focusing on nutrition over diet, we'll get into that in a moment by, by us breaking you down. Focusing on a food scale versus the weight scale. Weight scale, that some people say, the science, get on a scale every day. Weigh yourself every day. See if you lost two ounces. See if you lost eight ounces. See if you, before you went to the bathroom, you know, that you didn't lose two pounds. No, stop. It's okay initially to weigh yourself. Measure yourself. Take photos. Take photos of your before photos, like day one. And take photos every week versus, and then get on the scale every week versus every day. But focusing on the food scale, okay, getting a good food scale, they have scanners and everything on them. They wait, like you could put things in there and get exact. Taking one, two, 
three weeks to measure food, you start to, you start to learn what 50 grams of protein looks like when you measure it out. You start to know what a cup of rice looks like when you measure it out. V cooked versus, versus cooked, non-cooked rice, you know, it, pasta the same way. I had someone that measured pasta after it was cooked. <laughs> you got to measure pasta before it's cooked, right? It's a very, it, 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 to most of us, it's a very small amount. But met, taking the food scale and plugging it into this number and this, this, these, these numbers here, is a habit that can be done now. Still haven't walked in a gym yet. Take the month to figure these, these out. Take a month and a half. You will lose body fat. Not fast, not, but better than you'll incorporate these habits for the long term, which again, you're not really focused on a diet. You're focused on balancing daily habits okay that turn into j utilizing the diet here as a tool use keto as a tool i use it as a tool i do a keto reset call it what i call a keto reset where i eliminate carbs for an entire week every 90 days that's a tool it works okay it's not a long term because diets diets are temporary we all want to go on a diet. I, we, everyone says, oh, I'm going on a diet at the beginning of the year, right? Oh, I'm going to diet after my birthday or after this holiday. They're temp, te that to me is temporary time. Nutrition is for life. Figuring these macros out is something that could be adjusted for the rest of your life. This diet, this low carb diet, eliminating whole food categories, for, uh, it's not, it's not, it, it can be an option temporarily. But that's what a diet is. It's just that we go on diets. No one says, oh, I'm going to go on this nutrition kick for the rest of my life. No, they're going to go on a diet. No one says I'm going to diet for the rest of my life. That's what some people do. But most diets, right? 95% of forgot what the science and the literature is behind it. But most of them fail. You know, most of them do. Me telling you to start fasting tomorrow, let's go, let's do this 16 hour fast that I've been doing for, you know, eight years is not an option for most people. It, it's not a long term option. It can be very daunting. It doesn't incorporate into lifestyle. It incorporates so well into my lifestyle because I hate eating breakfast. I, meaning that's the, that's the meal I skip. I don't eat until one o'clock, but that became part of a daily life habit for me. And the daily life habit that I, that, that I absolutely love because I've incorporated all these other things in here. This keeps me focused on the amount of steps. It's not perfect, but it's a great barometer. Okay. So utilizing these diets all the way down to just making sure that they're used as tools and don't eliminate whole food groups. What I mean by eliminating Carbs right away. Oh, I'm going to go on. The, I'm going to eliminate carbs starting tomorrow or starting Friday. I mean, there's a good thing to start. Like, I've done some great things by by saying like, oh, I'm going to go on a 24 hour fast starting Monday and preparing for that. Right? There's one thing, but setting all of this up and getting to that point can be the best daily part of layering these habits into your life. And I know these habits work. If you stuck to just one habit and increased your daily, daily walk, daily step cycle, to, and you got to 12,000 steps and took those challenges, even for a brief moment, even for a week, even for two weeks, and took some of those challenges just using that one lifestyle tool change that can become integrated. This can be in, in, in integrated. I've been wearing this thing for eight years right? Or a version of it. And it just, it just layered into all of this. And they all started with small habits that layered into the life. And I know that I'm going on a tangent here, but this is so important, guys and gals, is to get the actual parts of your daily habit into your lifestyle. Your lifestyle. Everybody's different. There are a lot of people on keto. There are a lot of people that are intermittent fasting. Those things work. The science, the literature is all there. 
but all at one time? No. They all, you wouldn't know what works consistently over. At some point, you're going to stop fasting. At some point, you're going to drop out of keto, right? They're going, to, carbs are everywhere. They're not going away. <laughs> They're just not, right? So really honing in on small habits that turn into the big tool you use. To me, diets are the big tool. Plugging those in over time is the idea when you get everything else figured out, okay? Please hit that like button, subscribe today. Thank you. I'm trying to change the sound up, change the camera up. This is something that I'm so passionate about and I greatly appreciate it. Um, but again, we'll see you soon. Later. Gotta turn this off. <laughs>